We are Clive and Helen Berwick. We came from down south in New South Wales. We arrived here on the island in 2003. Our roles in the church have been um, more or less the same, um, caring for people. Our basic thrust in the church is reaching out and into the community, both with physical help and spiritual help. And uh, the best way to look at it is we're a real community church. We're thinking about people on the island and how we can reach them, help them, support them and give them a leg up often. The Russell Island Community Christian Church actually started in the early 90s and was officially named and started in 96 with Graham Lake, Pastor Graham Lake. Um, he died not long after he started the ministry and Brian Wells took over from him. Clive took over from Brian Wells after Brian left the island. It is a community church. It's Russell Island Christian, or Community Christian Church, which means it's open to any all denominations. It's a non-denominational church, and we do have a great variety of different denominations that worship together. We have various ministries from the church. We uh, go to a nursing home on the mainland, so... That's a new ministry which is going really well. We had some of the people come over recently and have a look at our island and be looked after by our church people, give them lunch in the hall so they could look over the bay and they had a wonderful time. We're there at 10.30 every Sunday. Oh, except for the when the art exhibition is on morning tea every Sunday after church and on the fourth Sunday we have lunch together. We have a big fellowship morning here on a Monday in our home. There's a ladies' Bible study but it's run at the Anglican Church through the Anglican Church at the yeah. moment yeah. and we get a lot of the people in the church involved in the service. Mm -hmm. It's not just one person all the time. It's not just the minister. We have um, members of the congregation preaching. We have members of the congregation doing the readings and leading the service, yes. the music. We have guest speakers fairly regularly from the mainland. Yeah. Yeah, outreach we have with uh, helping families. We're trying to work out how many families we've helped over the last 10 odd years, and I thought it was a dozen, but it's more than probably two or three a year. So it's probably in the vicinity of 30 families uh, over the various times that we've helped. And um, both physical help and psychological and spiritual help, and giving them a leg up. And, Sometimes they come to our, our church for a while, but the main thing is to get help out in the community for people who need it. And that's where we're coming from. Our um, theology uh, and doctrine is made up of the same thing. We're just really Bible-based, and uh, we're made up of all the denominations. And um, because we're all non-denominational, we don't push any... Um, particular uh, doctrine except uh, Jesus. Jesus is the one who saves and um, he's central to our uh, thinking and uh, doctrine. Yes, we're finding that uh, we recently started a fellowship group on a Monday and it's been growing and growing in this room and we're bursting at the same So it's really encouraging and things are happening. And there's a God-shaped hole in every one of us. Um, we're talking about there's a lot of religion about, but God doesn't believe in religion. Uh, religion is man-made. God's in, into and is uh, after a relationship with us and us for them, with him. And um, that is the reason why so many people are starving for a, a spiritual goal in their life. They need that relationship with God, not religion. Religion is a set of rules. God doesn't believe in a set of rules. He just wants a relationship with us. And he teaches us and we move on and we grow. We learn a lot more about him. And in the same way we learn a lot more about ourselves. And we just, that's great. One of the things about the church is it's not a one-man band. It's not about the minister or the ministers. Mm -hmm. It's about the people. And that's why the people are involved in the services. The people are involved in the outreaches. One of our ladies is the coordinator for visiting the nursing home. Mm. So it is definitely not a one-man band. And any Christian who has any input is welcome to come as long as it's uh, welcome to share, mm. as long as it is 
biblically based. Very much in We are very, very strong. Well, we people. have. That's the only thing that we would say we vet is that it's Bible based. We have uh, to sponsor that. We have once a, a month in our church uh, what we call prayer and share. So we don't have a sermon. We have prayer and share, and people pray, pray or share what God's been doing in their lives. And often it's a matter of praying for people or talking about things they've been through, all sorts of things. And it's a really blossoming way of um, getting people to come out the front and talk and express themselves and move on from there, move on with the Lord, that is. And that's great. And encourage each other too. Yeah. That is really a big thing that's come out yeah. of it. Because they come from so many churches where they sit it in the pews and, ju pews and just listen, but that's not what church is about, mm. really isn't mm. it? It's been extremely encouraging people that never thought they could get up in church. Mm. They can get up and share for five <coughs> or ten minutes, mm. and in fact sometimes they'll go, oh, did I speak for that long? You know, they get really excited about what's happening. Mm. 